Hello, lovelies. No, oh, that was taken. Hello, one and all. Welcome to. Oh, no, that was taken as well. <laughs> what are you doing? Morning, everyone. I'm Paul. I know what you're thinking. Another lockdown YouTuber. There's probably been quite a lot of people trying to start channels at the minute, but give me a try. Let's see what happens. I gave this all a try about three or four years ago, started a YouTube channel, made a few videos, did a vlog. I was about as charismatic as a potato, so I gave up. This time, my personality is invited along for the ride, and we're going to see what we can create. So today is a very special day for me. I'm taking delivery of my poster car. It's a car I've wanted for years, but I've never managed to quite pull the trigger on. It's a car that round the world automotive journalists have gone crazy for. It's sort of seen to be a bit of a front wheel drive icon. So let's jump straight in, shall we? And we'll see what I bought. We've bought a 2002 Arctic Blue DC5 Integra Type R. Uh, it's come from Newcastle. The place I have bought it from, they do have a good reputation. So that took a small amount of the risk out of the uh, situation. But as you know, there's a lot of hidden problems with these, rust wise mainly. Engine wise, they seem to be okay, so I was happy to take the risk there. Uh, happy to report it's come with the biggest pile of paperwork of any car I've ever bought and having a quick look around it, it seems very solid, so it seems to have struck lucky. It's also come with two keys, which I wasn't expecting, so what we'll do, we'll grab the GoPro, we'll go outside, it's in my alleyway that leads up to my driveway, so it's a bit tight, but we'll have a look around it and see what's what. Just for the sort of width of the driveway, this is sort of the storage place for it at the minute. So spec-wise, what have we got? Well, start with brakes. We've got MTech C grooved front discs. We have PBS pads front and rear. We also have hell braided lines, and we have RBF Motul 600 brake fluid. Looking at the receipts, um, we've got Super Pro front caster bushes on it, which I think just offset the wheels. Uh, we have hard race rear camber arms, we've got custom exhaust, and we also have a full fast road setup, which saves me a bit of time and money because that's all been sorted. Um, the arches on it, they're fine, thank goodness. Uh, it did have some welding to be in our arches before sale to prepare it, and they've now all been under sealed. So let's have a bit of a close look what we've got going on. So we'll start here under the bonnet. What have we got? We've got a wrinkle blue rocker cover on it. We also have this flat carbon fibre spark plug cover. It's not bolted down, we'll have to get some new nuts for it because carbon fibre is obviously light and it might blow away. Up in the scuttle panel, we do have this cold air intake. Um, it's on the original air box, but I've got a receipt for an AEM cold air feed. Um, so I presume it ran the induction kit at some point. Got all the factory strut turret tops fine no rust on them thank goodness um, everything under here is quite clean really we have recently had a alternator pulley and new aux belt on it i've got a receipt for that and the people i bought it off also refurbished the headlights so they're nice and clean the left one doesn't work i need to work out whether that is an igniter or just a bulb so here's hoping it's just a bulb 
can't really see due to the really terrible angle, but the wheels were refurbished in anthracite, ready for sale. Um, might get a sneaky shot of the brakes there as well. It does need four new tyres. The tyres on it, uh, I've never heard of them. So we're going to put four decent tyres on it, as we, we actually want to use this car to its full potential. Coming around the back, as we said, we've got a custom exhaust, which isn't too big, thank goodness. We do have these 3D gel plates, which I'm not a fan of, so we're going to get rid of them and get some nice tidy ones. Um, underneath, we have a look. We've got, I don't know whether that's a factory brace in the middle or whether that's aftermarket, but we have spoon progressive springs under there. They seem to have the rubber mounts on them to stop them knocking. Um, you can't see them, but we also have hard race rear camber arms on there. Now we'll have a look at the interior. Uh, I am sat in the back of the car, yes. And yes, I just climbed through the boot because it's quite tight getting in the door. So in here, we've got the original JDM flare down there, which I wasn't expecting to see. We have a single DIN CD player in there. Apparently we've got a Tegoa short shift as well, which I'll have to have a look into. Uh, other than that, it's quite tidy in here, really. Got some carbon wrap on the center console there. And I did spot it somewhere else. Um, so that'll be coming off and getting tidied up. So I'm not really a fan of that. Oh yeah, down here. Got a bit on here as well. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, there is a slight tear in this bolster. So I'm not sure whether we'll sort of get that repaired yet. Or whether we'll put a fixed bucket in place. Other than that, we're looking alright in here really. It's blue on blue. So we've got the blue carpet. The blue Recaros. And yeah, it's... Apart from it looking like a Smurfs boudoir, we're quite happy in here. There we have it, DC5 U Project. First plan, four new tyres on it. Get out and enjoy it, give it a good tidy up, see what it needs, get it anything it needs really to bring it up to my standard, and then um, see what the potential of them is all about. We'll get a few track days booked in with a few friends, get out there, stretch its legs a bit. Um, I do have a few other video ideas. I currently also have a FM2 parked out front. We also have an Abarth Punto. I have to do this because it's not a factory Abarth, it was built up and the owners group don't like it. So for them, it's an Abarth. And just let me know down below what you think to this video, wherever I should carry on. Who knows, I might. I've got a few good ideas, so hopefully that I may also just be told to retire now because nobody's enjoyed this. I don't want to waste your time. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think and see you soon.